Stories of the Bible. Joshua and Caleb. This is Joshua. Hello. And this is Caleb. Hey. Joshua and Caleb were some of the Israelites who followed Moses out of Egypt into the wilderness to find the land that God had promised them. Yeah. Come on. Sometime after that, God told Moses to send out men to explore the promised land, which was called the land of Canaan. So Moses sent a leader from each of the twelve tribes of Israel, and Joshua and Caleb were among them. Moses told them to go see what the land was like and find out if the people living there were strong or weak. He told them to bring back a report of all they found. Yeah, let's do it. So the twelve men went and explored. While they were there, they found that the land was very good for crops. Rock at rest. They found a single cluster of grapes that took two men to carry. That's good. After forty days, they returned to Moses and showed them the fruit they found. They said it was a land flowing with milk and honey, and that it was a good land. But they also said that the people living there were powerful, and that their cities were strong. They even saw giants there. But Caleb said, "Let's go at once to take the land. We can certainly conquer it." Come on! But the other men who were with him disagreed and spread the bad report all throughout the Israelite camp. This made the Israelites cry all through the night. They told Moses and Aaron that they wished they had died in Egypt or in the wilderness, and asked for a new leader who would take them back to Egypt. Moses and Aaron fell face down on the ground. Joshua and Caleb tore their clothing. Joshua and Caleb told the people, "The land we traveled through and explored is a wonderful land." And if the Lord is pleased with us, He will bring us safely into the land and give it to us. Do not rebel against the Lord, and don't be afraid of the people of the land. They have no protection, but the Lord is with us. Don't be afraid of them. But all the Israelites talked about hurting Joshua and Caleb. Then God's presence appeared to the Israelites, and God spoke to Moses. He was very angry at the Israelites and said to Moses, "Will they never believe me, even after all the miraculous signs I have done among them?" God said that He would make a new nation for Moses and that the Israelites would be no more. But Moses asked God to forgive the people, and God said He would, but that the people would wander in the wilderness for forty years, and none of the people would enter the promised land except for Joshua and Caleb. The people did wander for forty years. Moses died, and Joshua became the new leader of the Israelites. Time came for Joshua to lead the Israelites into the promised land. That Joshua and Caleb had scouted many years before, Joshua led the people, including Caleb, into the Promised Land. For God was with him wherever he went.